Hello boys and girls, it's Olli here, and greetings from very snowy Finland. It's been two months since this Gaussian splatting craze started, and I think it is good time to check out what kind of editing tools have been developed in that time. Although the development around this topic is very fast and new applications appear all the time, I thought I could now review some of the latest editor programs or plugins that can change the structure of the Gaussian point cloud. And since I have already covered this topic in my previous videos, we already know that currently 3D Gaussian splatting models can be created in at least three different ways. You can calculate them locally on your own computer using INRIA's original source code. Or you can use two separate web services like Polycam or Luma AI to generate these great looking 3D models. In all these cases, a new type of splat PLY point cloud file will be created, which further manipulation we will now start to study. I found at least six different ways that Gaussian splatting models can be processed at the moment. So let's go check them out. This first one is the project tool that is developed for Unity Game Engine. As far as I know, this was the first tool that came into public at the just a few days after the publication of the Gaussian splatting papers. Its creator, the Lithuanian coder Aras Prankevičius, has been developing it ever since and it includes, for example, a very clever way to compress the size of the point cloud files. It currently has the best and clearest selection tool for removing single points and cleaning up splat groups. Although its selection features are somewhat lacking, they can be overcome when combined with multiple cutout tools. I made an in-depth tutorial on using this tool in my previous video, so I recommend you to check it out if you want to learn more about this one. The best feature of this Unity tool are cleaning floating artifacts and the fact that the end result can be exported and saved back as a PLY file. This tool is free to use under the MIT license and can be found on the GitHub. Next one is 3D Gaussian plugin and it is a plugin for Unreal Game Engine. First version of this came available just about same time as the Unity tool. Japanese developer Genji Azaba has built this plugin from scratch around the Niagara particle system and it displays Gaussian splatting point clouds as a blocks. There is a way to change point cloud colors and make adjustments for the rendering accuracy. In later update versions this tool has been added also features to use lights to re-illuminate the models. And it also works in VR mode when you want to use Unreal's virtual reality functions. It has some tools to limit the size of the point cloud areas and use multiple cutout elements. But these box-shaped cropping volumes are not very responsive and easy to use. In some reason it cannot display splats in real time while the cropping volumes is moved. That's why cleaning the floating artifacts with this editor is quite time consuming and hard to do. But since this is based on particles, on the other hand, it can be used for fun effects and various distortions of the model. In the most recent update to this plugin, the possibility to combine several Gaussian models together and save them back in PLY format has been implemented. This plugin is not free, it costs a little bit over 100 euros and can be purchased from the Unreal Marketplace. 
As a third option, we have Luma AI's recent update to the plugin, which is also made for Unreal Game Engine. This is a great release just after Luma AI introduced interactive scenes to their web services. Now the same Gaussian models can be used in the game engine and it renders Gaussian point clouds surprisingly fast and runs them a very high FPS level. This plugin works in the latest Unreal 5.3 version and it is able to display also nerf models as it was originally designed. The relighting features of the models also works without difficulty. It is very responsive and shadows are also included. And by default Luma has added four cutout boxes to each Gaussian models which make it easy to crop the model and remove floating artifacts. VR features also work, but not yet in standalone headsets. Virtual reality goggles must be still connected to a computer to view Gaussian models in them. The only feature this blocking lacks is the ability to export and save the edited model back to PLY format. But otherwise it is very promising contender as it is completely free to use and can be downloaded from the LumaLabs website. With number 4 we have slightly more experimental option which is implemented for Blender. It was created by French coder Alexandre Collier. This plugin is not really able to render Gaussian splatting points exactly as they are intended, but it quite cleverly uses Blender's geometry nodes and brings the Gaussian point cloud to view through the cycles rendering engine. And because its appearance in this form does not correspond to the speed at which Gaussian models usually work, it is quite difficult to use or edit the individual points in the model. But since you can bring the Gaussian point cloud into Blender in this way, you can implement all kind of fun animations and play tricks with its structure. I recommend watching Max Nowak's videos on this topic. He shows how to install this add-on and how bring the point clouds to life. Personally, I would wait for a more official publication about Gaussian cladding for Blender. But this plugin is free and it can be downloaded from GitHub. About number 5, I have to say frankly that I don't know much about. It is a new Unreal plugin that has only been released very recently. It was published by Chinese developer Yi Haike. I believe this tool works very similarly to the previously introduced Unreal plugins, but what catches the eye in its feature list is the ability to generate a collision mesh around cropped point cloud. That setting can be very necessary if you want to use Gaussian models as an interactive object in games. The product in itself looks quite interesting and its author has many previous publications, but to be honest it is quite expensive and since there is no more detailed examples of its functions, for example in form of a video, I will leave this mainly for your information. This blocking is not free, it cost over 175 euros and you can find it in the Unreal Marketplace. Well then, last but not least, number 6 is a very new tool called Super Splat. This tool is different from the previous ones because you don't need to install anything for it. It works directly in the web browser. Super Splats is developed by Will Eastcott and Donovan Hutchins from UK. It is designed to run on a web-based game engine called Play Canvas. The editor itself is quite straightforward. You just need to drag the PLY file into this web page to start editing it. It can overlap Gaussian splats 
at the same time as the underlying point cloud. You can select desired points from model with several different ways. You can use either a very effective brush tool or the selection rectangle to pick up groups of points from the point cloud. This way you can easily isolate the points from the desired areas and then make, for example, an inverted selection to remove surrounding areas. With Supersplats you are able to make additional selections and also subtract points out from your selections. After a little experiment you will notice that Supersplat is quite an effective tool for cleaning floating artifacts. Although the transition between the selection tool and rotating the view angle feels quite awkward, you get used to it after a while. And if you feel like you made big mistakes when removing splats, you can press the reset button to restore the original dots. Since this tool is also only in a very early beta version, it naturally contains limitations. When edited model is saved and exported, not all features such as spherical harmonic data is not saved with the file. All in all, Supersplat seems like a very promising Gaussian splatting editor that makes it easy to make cuts and clean up your model. It is free tool to use and it can be found in this URL. Well, here were all six current tools that I found and that can be used to modify the structure of Gaussian splatting models. Have you came across other tools or do you know of an interesting application? Leave a comment below and if you liked this video, press the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want to continue to hear more about the possibilities of these 3D tools. See you next time! Thanks for watching!